What's up everybody, it's Brandon Johnson here again, and today I wanted to talk about five things that you should never do with your acoustic guitar, or really with any guitar in my opinion. Now these are five things that I've learned basically the hard way, or anecdotally from horror stories from other musicians. So whether you're playing on stage or you're just hanging out at the house, I think these five things apply regardless of what kind of musical situation you're in. So let's get into it. Now the first thing you should never ever do with your guitar is when you're playing with a capo and you put your guitar down for the day or let's say you just set it down just for a few minutes to go get a glass of water or whatever, never leave the capo fully engaged on the neck when you're not playing the guitar. And the reason is, is that when the capo is on the neck, it's applying a huge amount of pressure to hold the strings down and to you know raise the register or lower the register based on where the capo is. So that, that amount of pressure and the, that amount of stress on the neck of the guitar is not good for the neck itself and it's not good specifically for the frets. So a lot of times if you play a lot you'll notice that your frets become worn down. So the, the force of the string being held to the fretboard by the capo is going to create a little bit of a divot on the actual frets themselves by the string. You're just putting unnecessary force on your fretboard and you're wearing out your frets a lot faster than you need to. So one habit I've gotten into is, even if I'm, if I'm playing and I have a capo on, say the second fret, and I set my guitar down and I just need to walk away for a few minutes, I always loosen the capo like that and I'll, and I'll just kind of lean the guitar against something or whatever, and then I can come back and I can re-engage the capo. All right, so the second thing you should never do with your acoustic guitar is when you're taking off your guitar strap, you should never lift your guitar above your head like this, like I'm doing right now. If you're going to, let's say you're, you're jamming and picking or whatever, and you're sitting in a chair or, or standing, and you're ready to put your guitar away, well, instead of lifting it over your head like this and taking the strap off, you really should just take, if you can, just take the strap off from here, lift the strap over your head, and then you can either reattach it like this or you can just take the strap off entirely. And the reason you wanna do it this way is because if there's something above you, right? If there's anything could be above you, another person, you know, a lot of times on stage, it's really tight, there's not a lot of room. And if you're lifting your guitar like this, you're kind of blinding yourself in a way by kind of blocking your view, and then you can just totally bash your headstock into the ceiling. I've done that many, many times, and you can see here, you can see the back of this headstock, how beat up it is. And that's from, that's from just bashing it on the ceiling. It's just, it's just not a good idea. You wanna keep, keep your instrument at kind of at eye level at all times, and instead of lifting it over your head, just take the strap, off if it's here or if it's here just take it off and lift the strap over your head like that and then reattach it or just take it off so the third thing you should never do with the guitar and I know I know I'm doing it right now but the third thing you should never do with your guitar is store it on a guitar stand you know I know a lot of people out there love their guitar stands and I've seen many 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 musicians that use guitar stands and, and it works just fine for them but for some reason, I've always been against the idea of using a guitar stand because it should, it's just sitting there waiting for someone to come by and knock it over. I mean, I, I don't know how else to say it. I've, I've heard horror stories firsthand. My dad was a professional musician for 30 years, and he, he had a beautiful green Les Paul back in the 70s. And it was sitting on a stand actually just like this one. And this is kind of the old fashioned style of stand. And it was plugged in, and of course, somebody came by, tripped on the cable, and the guitar fell forward like this, and landed string side down, and it just snapped the neck right off. It had like a whiplash effect, where the, the headstock was traveling super fast, and by the time it hit the ground, it just, it snapped. And, and those are the kind of horror stories that you, you just hate to hear, you know? And it's like, you don't need to use a guitar stand, because you should really be storing your guitar in its case at all times. If, you, if you're not using it, whether you're at home or you're on stage, it should always be in its case. It's the safest place for the guitar to go 
And I remember when I when I first got my Martin, and I was reading through the the official Martin manual. That was one of the first things that that was on there was always store it in its case. And part of the reason for that is you know obviously so it doesn't get damaged, but also part of the reason for that is that the case was built for the instrument, so it holds everything in place beautifully, and everything's in equilibrium. And so even if the case fell fell down, you know the, there's a good chance that the instrument will be just fine. Okay, so the fourth thing that you should never do with your acoustic guitar is put heavier strings on it than it's designed for. So every guitar is designed to have kind of a maximum gauge string on it. And, you know, a standard acoustic guitar like this, um, the maximum gauge that you should use is mediums, which would be, you know, 13s. So you really want to make sure you don't put strings on your instrument that are too heavy because that will you know, physically damage the guitar itself. A lot of times electric guitars, you can, you can put heavier strings on them. Um, dobros and resonators, I think they can take kind of heavier strings. It's just really, really important. And if you look in the sound hole here, it actually says use medium gauge or lighter strings only. Okay, so for the last thing, the fifth and final thing that you should never do with your guitar, and this really applies to only pickers that play through a PA or have a pickup in their guitar and, and they use quarter inch cables, but you should never leave your guitar plugged in when you're not using it. And this kind of ties into, you know, reducing wear and tear on your instrument, reducing the possibility of a catastrophic accident, but also it has to do with two things, the integrity of the plug itself. So the plug on the bottom, on the bottom of your guitar here or wherever you plug in your guitar it could be through the sound hole too if you have that style of pickup but this plug can wear out actually over time and this plug right here is 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 pretty sturdy but it's also it it's fairly fragile so if you leave your guitar plugged in and someone comes along and trips on the cable you can you can severely damage this jack right here and this can be replaced of course and also the second reason is that if you have a battery in your pickup and your, and your guitar is plugged in, well, that battery is gonna be sitting there just draining away. So that would be the fifth and final thing I would recommend. And that, like I said, that really only applies to pickers that are using a pickup or specifically that use quarter inch cables. But I gotta tell you, these, these five things are things that I've learned the hard way. I hope this helps you out. I don't know if you knew these already or if you, maybe you disagree with a few of these things. If you do, let me know in the comments because I'd be interested to know what you think and whether you've done these things, whether you think maybe some of these things are unnecessary. So anyways, that's all for today, guys. And I'll see you again next time.